Now, in your book, you did a lot of or drew on a lot of archaeological information, which I also love. I find all of the archaeology fascinating. And I think it's a really good way for us spiritual folk to get information. Um, was there anything that surprised you or anything specific that you learned in your research relating to bones from those archaeological information? I know that's a big question. <laughs> you know, I I do. I you know, for me, researching is in that in that sense is not. It's something I normally do, and uh, most of most of the information I was I was using for my book, I already knew. It was more getting the the date right or this right or but it's information has been in in my head for years because I am uh, a geek and I love my uh, my books on archaeology and, and especially the archaeology of ritual uh, and, and you know it's been it's been something I've been studying for for a long time so nothing really surprised me there but uh, um, I just wanted to make sure I was using the stuff correctly it's a good source of information though, isn't it? Um, it might seem like a strange thing, spiritual magic and archaeology, but it is an excellent source to learn right. how our ancestors did things. You know, it? when when you study the archaeology of ritual, everything makes sense. Everything yeah. makes sense. <laughs> like, uh, I remember I w when I was doing, I actually did a course with Oxford University on uh, on the archaeology of ritual and um and i remember talking to my tutor because when you s because i'm a practitioner i could instantly give it a use to what what we were seeing you know and it was very interesting to see how the ex scholars were struggling to trying to find a use why they did this and i was like it's obvious <laughs> <laughs> you know it's obvious so so yeah you know it's, it's i guess you had you had a unique viewpoint because you yeah. work with it yeah 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 i think my tutor was like oh <laughs> uh, she, I, I think she had a few oh moments uh when reading my work <laughs> um but it's people forget that we've been doing rituals since the very beginning oh. and and when when archaeologists are working on a site and and they find their stuff and these and you know as practitioners that uh especially being uh, in the shamanic path you know i can i can totally see like okay what was this ancestor trying to do with this okay what is this this is like you know it has a meaning there is a reason for this and um so yeah it's interesting we can't not separate we need to it's nowadays when we separate our spiritual life from our day by day life but in the old days really there was no such, such a separation you know it was not it's true spirituality was part of the everyday for like every day so it was no separation back then it's just us nowadays where we have this separation we you know we have separated our spiritual work from anything else but that's actually very recent and it used to be the opposite all the way back so we can learn from that can we we need to bring that back then you know it needs to be it needs to be there if you're in a spiritual path your practice yeah. should be part of your everyday yeah absolutely no. yeah it, it, do you think is modern life because everyone's so busy and they yeah, put yeah. things in all these yeah, separate yeah. categories yeah yeah definitely so too we much, need too much yeah. chaos oh yes <laughs> and responsibility yeah, and this and that you know it's we literally have no time that's a bit that's mm -hmm. the issue now we have no time for connection 
time is a luxury. We didn't, we didn't, we, yeah. you know, I'm talk, we're talking about, we don't have time to connect with, with their spirits, you know, or, or the invisible realms and, and do a spiritual work, but we don't even have time to connect to another human, you know? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's very, it's sad, but that's it, true. It's yeah. very sad, but that's the truth. Yeah. So we need to learn from our ancestors and pay attention. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find it all fascinating. I think we learn so much from archaeology. And I think as well, we're, lear we're still learning, aren't we? Because they make new discoveries yeah. all the time. Yeah, uh, archaeology, we cannot take for granted anything because something else, you know, they might discover something else in a week time that is going to change everything else that we think we yeah. know.